أحمد وأصلي على رسول الكريم أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إذا جاء نصر الله والفتح ورأيت الناس يدخلون في دين الله أفواجا فصبح بحمد ربك واستغفر إنه كان توابا رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل أقطة من لساني يفكه قولي أمين يا رب I want to discuss inshallah today the meaning of the word deen you know and why is it significance significant that we should know about this word the word deen because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran that Allah will not accept any deen Allah will not accept in in Allah la yaqbilu Allah will not accept ghayr al-islami deen other than Islam as a deen so meaning you have to accept Islam and you have to accept Islam as a deen in another place so this is in the negative form Allah will not accept that you you take for deen other than Islam and in another place Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu udukhulu fi silmi kafah oh you people who believe enter into Islam completely so Islam as a deen and the reason this is important and let me give you the linguistic meaning of the word deen Deen is means to submit to some some something's will or sub, submit to something. Just like Islam means to give up, to surrender. Deen means to which you which that th that entity to which you are submitted to. So, for example, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says in the Quran, Maliki yawmid Deen. Master of the Day of Judgment. Deen here means judgment. That when a judgment is given, you you will have to be submissive to that. So the Deen of Islam is that entity to by which you submit to Islam with. The Deen of Islam is that entity by which you is submit to Islam with. And some people call this Aslul Asul the root by which all other roots are established that is the system of Islam whether you call it Khilafa or you call it Iqamat al-Deen or you call it وَرَبَّكَ فَكَبِّرْ لِكَلِمَةِ اللَّهِ يَأُلِيَا whether you call it whatever name you call it it is the system by which Islam is established by which people can be submissive to Islam so this is Deen al-Islam and this is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also means when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu ittakullaha haqqa tufatihi Okay, this is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala means when He says Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu, all you people who believe ittakullaha haqqa tufatihi Have taqwa of Allah as it deserves to be had وَلَا تَمُوتُنَّ إِلَّا وَأَنْتُمْ مُسْلِمُونَ And do not die except in the state of submission to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so how do you submit to Allah? You have to have an entity, a system called that helps you submit to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the word deen. So when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, إِذَا جَاءَ نَصْرُ اللَّهِ وَالْفَتْ When the victory and the help of Allah comes, when the help and the victory of Allah comes, وَرَأَيْتَ النَّاسَ يَدْخُلُونَ فِي دِينِ اللَّهِ When the victory comes, you will see the people entering into the deen of Allah, into that system that helps them live their life according to Islam. So, إِذَا جَاءَ نَصْرُ اللَّهِ وَالْفَتْحِ وَرَأَيْتَ النَّاسَ يَدْخُلُونَ فِي دِينِ اللَّهِ أَفْوَاجًا You'll see people entering into Islam in crowds. And this word deen is the opposite of the word religion in fact because religion only consists of three things number one religion is a idea a dogma number two it has some modes of worship 
some, you know, you pray here, you pray to this. And number three, some customs and rituals. When somebody's born, when somebody gets married, somebody dies, this is religion. But Islam is a complete system. Islam has economic pr principles, political principles, social principles, judicial principles, educational principles, secure, uh, you know, foreign uh, policy uh, principles that help us to submit to Islam. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, you know, the, the word deen, about this word, the word deen meaning to submit and to, sir, uh, to, to uh, that which forces you to, sub, helps you submit. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, قَيِّسُ مَنْ دَانَ نَفْسَهُ The smart one is, مَنْ دَانَ يَدِينُ نَفْسَهُ قَيِّسُ مَنْ دَانَ نَفْسَهُ The one who subdues his soul, his nafs, he is the one who is intelligent. وَأَمِلَ لِي مَا بَعْدَ الْمَوْتِ And he works for what is after death. وَالْعَاجِزِ And the weak one. So, الدَّانَ يَدِينُ The one who has the power to make somebody submit. If somebody steals, there's repercussions. If somebody does transgressions, there are repercussions. It helps people to abide by the laws of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to live an Islamic lifestyle. So, And the weak one is the one who just has hopes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, I was saying that uh, this word deen means that entity which helps one submit so in the same way we have in Surah Yusuf for example Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when Yusuf والسلام, wanted to take his brother for himself Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uses the word الملك. it was not for Yusuf والسلام, to take his brother without under the deen of the Malik under the, the, the system that's there under the system of kingship Yusuf couldn't just take his brother for himself there were some laws, so he played, he put the situation such that he could take the brother for himself. مَا كَانَ يَأْخُذُ أَخَاهُ فِي دِينِ الْمَلِكِ So, deen is that entity by which you submit to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, the, the word deen has other meanings, but this is the most uh, important meaning in terms of the occurrence of the word deen, where it's usually used as the word religion. And... So over here it is very important to know that Islam is a deen, it is not a mazhab. Islam is not a religion. Islam is deen. It is an entity, it is principles at all layers of human life that help a person submit to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And uh, it is the duty of Muslims, and this is of course for another lecture, it is the duty of Muslims to understand that it is our responsibility and our duty to establish the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that we can live in accordance to the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.